Hello everybody. I'm going to be doing a product review. I'm going to be talking about a thyroid supplement today for us humans. Okay, so this brand, this is called the Ancestral Supplement Grass-Fed Beef Thyroid. And let me zoom in. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, well, let me set it up so maybe you can see it a little better. Sometimes it's better, it, instead of just communicating with words, sometimes it's just better just look at the screen, look through the camera and read what you read. Um, this is meant to be a uh, alternative to things like Synthroid, things like Uniroid and things like Armor Thyroid, okay? Those are all prescription thyroid medications for hypothyroid, underactive thyroidism. And this is meant to be a kind of a more like an over-the-counter type of supplement, so to speak. So, I completely stopped using Synthroid, oh, you guys, I don't know, months ago, um at least three or four months ago, at least, yeah, at least three months, uh, for various different reasons, long story, don't want to get into all that, but anyhow, so I went ahead and switched over to this stuff, I heard great things about it, like reviews, I don't know if the reviews are real reviews or what, anyhow, I bought it, it was very pricey, I will link it up the down bar below, I was like, it, it, it was very pricey, okay, so anyhow, it was pretty pricey, but, you know, you just kind of have to weigh the options. Do what's best for your health. You know, if something over-the-counter is going to work better for you than something prescribed by a doctor, something that's prescription, maybe something prescription has not been working so well, then the alternative is it's fine to try different things. Okay, so, but anyhow, before I get in to tell you how this works, I'm going to show you the bottle. I'm just going to try to show you the ingredients here. Hopefully you can see... Um, I know it has uh, bovine in it, bovine thyroid, and let's see, what else does it have in it? Um, yeah, okay, sometimes it's just best to let you guys just look. You know, I mean, sometimes you feel like, <laughs> literally, you could do all the talking and all the blabbing in the world, but if you just read it right in front of you, it sometimes uh, simplifies things some somewhat. I just want you to know what's in it in case you're interested in actually, you know, buying and trying it like I did. Okay, and I bought two bottles of it. Okay, tells you what's in it. Other ingredients. This is the side of the bottle. And I believe it's sourced, and I believe, if I remember correctly, like when I bought from the website, I remember it saying New Zealand. I believe that's correct, so it's, it is sourced from that country. Okay, and how many pills are in it, or ca they're capsules, rather. Um, I want you to be able to see that. Okay, and let me just take one out of the bottle here, and want you to see what they look like. Whoops, I'll drop the lid all over the place, okay? So this is what they look like, um, you know, nothing distinctive about the way they look. They look no different than anything else. Okay, on to how they work. Uh, well, okay, first off, let me just say I quit taking Synthroid at least three to four months ago. It could be closer to four months ago. As everybody knows, that's a prescription medication. That is a synthetic form of the thyroid hormone is synthetically made it's by prescription you can only get it via or through a doctor um, and I've taken that forever it seems I, I don't even I just lost count for how long I've taken it right you guys so anyhow um, for various reasons I had to stop taking that and I started taking these and I will say I had definitely high hopes I really hope they would work I wanted them to work I mean I willed them to work I yearned for these suckers to work, but with that having been said, they just did not work for me. They did not alleviate any of my symptoms. 
you know, um, they didn't help with my difficulty swallowing. They didn't help with my constipation. They didn't help with my stuffiness, my sinus infections. Uh, they didn't help with my low uh, metabolism, my slow digestion. It didn't help for that. Uh, it didn't help raise my body temperature. I still have low body temperature. Um, you know, it, it didn't help with any of the hypothyroid uh, symptoms, my sluggishness, my, my sleepy feeling, my slow feeling, my, all that. It just did not, I did not feel any symptomatic changes in my symptoms, which I was hoping that it would. I was totally hoping that it would. And my prayer was to never have to go back to Synthroid or get a prescription again or take that medication again, which I haven't yet. So like I haven't yet, but I was hoping that this was kind of a, a cure-all or a save-all. And I'm just telling you, just here to report, no, no, it didn't. It didn't work for me. I wish it would have. I wanted it to. It didn't help with my brain fog. It didn't help with any uh, short-term memory, you know, lapses or anything like that. All the symptoms of hypothyroidism and slow thyroid and Hashimoto's thyroiditis, this does not help me from my body, from my system, for the way I'm genetically made, for the way my body works, okay? Now, this might work beautifully for you, and I'm telling you, I hope it does, because a big high five to anybody that you know, doesn't have to take Synthroid or Armor or, you know, um, uh, you know, Uniroy or any of those. You know what I mean? If you don't have to take those, like, huge high five. And I hope this works for you. I'm just telling you, based on what it did for me, it just did not work for me. And I felt like I was take, literally taking nothing is what I felt like. And a lot of times I've taken different vitamins and supplements and things like that. And... Uh, usually over time, if I don't feel any impact or any, at least any symptomatic changes or at least one of my symptoms to lessen or alleviate or anything like that, I will discontinue quit taking, you know, supplements because I always, fig always figure why take supplements if they're not going to do anything for you. So for me, it didn't. Um, it did not change my blood work and my TSH, my thyroid stimulating hormone through my laboratory blood work did not um, help with that. My numbers are still high. When you're hypothyroid and your numbers are high, you get a, like a, a, like I do, a 4.6, a 4.3 if you're good, and it never really gets taken down or lowered. The thing is, you want that TSH to be lowered. And then, of course, there's other things that factor in, like reverse T3 and, and all that. So, you know, there's T4, and then there's reverse T3, and Things like that. It's kind of like a mathematical equation, so to speak, once you get your blood work all figured out and kind of figure out where you stand within the results of your blood work. But anyhow, I wanted to work. It didn't work. I am so bummed out over it. Uh, it was very expensive. I feel like literally I did waste some money on it, but I tried. You know, I mean, it is what it is. I tried, you guys. I tried so hard, and I... Um, I mean, if, if I could have just, you know, like I said, willed it to work, I would have. So it is what it is. And that's the bottle here. I'm going to show you again. But if you're interested and you want to go ahead and, and, you know, spend the money on it and give it a try, definitely do it. I mean, I'm not saying don't. I'm saying, for me, the way I am genetically made, the way my body is working the way my body processes the way I'm manufactured you know just little me here you know just little me in this big world and uh, it didn't work for me okay okay but if you want to try it I'm all for you trying it and let me know in the in the comment section down below definitely have you tried it what's your result how long have you been taking it um, do you like the price point of it or do you uh, have any comparisons to make to things like Synthroid or Armor or Uniroid or anything like that? Do you have any uh, comparisons to make? Just basically your input. When something is very 
uh, vivid to us and very important to us, such as something like thyroid disease is very serious. A lot of people definitely take it as a joke. It's, oh, that's just an autoimmune issue, you know, and a lot of people do blow it off as a joke, but it is very, very serious. And I've tried to talk about the seriousness of um, the disease over the years, you know, and uh, so let's just get motivated. Let's start talking about it. Let's start giving tips and tricks. Let me know what works for you, what don't work for you. Say what worked for your family member or what didn't work for your friend. And just all talk about it and really have a big, you know, communication <clears throat> communication study, a communication uh, party, so to speak. And let's talk about this. So what works for you? But so far, this is not working for me. Now, I don't know if uh, what my future is going to be if... Yeah, I don't know. I, I I see going back to Synthroid in my future, but we'll see. We'll see, you know. I love you guys. Take care. Let me know. Um, also, uh, let me know how long have you been hypothyroid? How long have you had Hashimoto's? Um, you know, are you a guy or are you a girl? I know that there is some rarity with uh, men and guys and, and uh, having it, but it is getting more uh, brought to the surface and more men are speaking out about it because gen it's generalized as a so-called woman problem. But I see so many men that are coming forth and they're talking about it and I'm so proud of all of them for doing so. And I'm really, really thankful for their input as well because their symptoms are just the same as us girls. So let's all talk about it. Let's talk about the impact of it, the symptoms, what helps, what doesn't, you know, things you need to try or do. Like me, if I over-exercise, and I'm a huge exercise fanatic, I'm a total gym rat, but if I over-exercise, a lot of times it puts my symptoms and my thyroidism it, just, it puts it into jeopardy and it will impact it and seem to make it worse okay let's all start talking i love you guys take care bye handsomes bye guys bye girls